Insecticide is a compilation album by the by the grunge band Nirvana. It consists of 1999 album single, a sliver, B-sides, demos, outtakes, covers, and radio broadcast recording. At the time, the majority of the material on Insecticide was circulated with fa fan communities, albeit in lower quali quality. It was widely reported in the press in, in the uh, music press that the band wanted to offer fans a higher quality alternative but in the book Cobain Unseen uh, Cross writes that Cobain agreed to the release of this compilation because he was allowed complete control over the art album's artwork which is cool the album was released on December 14th 92 in, this, uh, in Europe and December 15th 92 in the United States and eventually reached a number 39 on the Billboard 200 since the songs were recorded in different sessions and some were recorded when Nirvana did not have a stable formation. The album includes recordings by four different drummers, Chad Channing, Dan Peters, Dave Croft, Cover, and David Grohl. Okay. Okay, like, I, re I really do like this song. Um, yeah, I, I really do like this album of, of, a, of Rarities and B sides. I knew there was. I kind of knew this was a, a rarity uh, album because I, because I heard I heard uh, it has the song Polly. It's it's an up tempo version of Polly, which was featured on the original, uh, which was featured on the Nirvana album. Like a like a, so songs like a, like Dive, Oliver, Stain, Ben of Sun, Turn Around, Molly's Life, uh, Son of a Gun, uh, like a uh, like a Beeswax Downer. Mexican seafood. Those, those are some uh, rarity songs, with a um, which uh, had had it, had it on Twitter, that which had that Nirvana a uh, twing twing to it, like a uh, the song Ben a song, and on and on, Ben a song, Ben like a, and the song Dive, like that that, that song, uh, the, Daddy take me home, Daddy take me home. Those are some excellent songs. Like, hold up, it says uh, for for uh the songs the songs Hairspray Queen and Arrow Zeppelin and Big Long Now were officially unreleased at the time, as well as the versions of Ben a Son, Aneurysm, and Polly, which uh, the new wave, wave version of Polly, which are different from the versions uh, previously re uh, released on the Blue EP. Uh, and the Smells Like Teen Spirit single and the Never Mind record. Okay, D Downer appears on the CD version of Nirvana's '89. Um, hold on. Yeah, down down uh, appears on the CD version of Nirvana's album uh, Bleach. As a dive and Sliver were, were released uh, on Sliver, the Sliver singer in 1990. Dive was also previously released on the Grunge Years compilation album. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but like I, I, this album, it, it, it had like this epic, this uh, the, the presentation. Even like uh, this goes to show you like bands, uh, a bands who could put, uh, put out uh, who could put out a uh, solid, clean studio material, which which is pitch perfect. Uh, they uh, like they can they can half ass and do like uh, unenthusiastic, lethargic, unapathetic uh, songs, and like uh, if they put out songs that are not as uh. That that are that are not as uh pumped up as their regular material, and it still sounds good. That that shows how good and how talented of a uh, b band, uh, like uh, how how uh how talented that artist is, or how that band is. Or like a uh, Carvana, I mean, excuse me, damn, Kurt Cobain was way uh, beyond his years, especially with this album, this this, uh, this rare rarity, this B size. And like you, you gotta like uh and like uh, if you're a fan you gotta you gotta love the music you gotta be a huge fan of the a group in order to uh, 
come out with um to do a uh, to, uh, to to uh, to go out and, and buy the compilation like th this right even though this was a compilation of rarities and b-sides it still sounds better th than most people's LPs put together okay and like uh, if you notice on the front of the cover is that the cover art was painted by Cobain damn I didn't know that who is Kurt uh, credited as Kurt Cobain in the liner notes the rubber duck scene on the album's back cover also belonged to Cobain the front cover pro uh, prominently displays a poppy hitting at Co Cobain's uh, struggle with heroin addiction like it said the first several pressings of the album contain liner notes written by Cobain versions of the album containing liner notes by Cobain could be found in record stores as late as 1998 initial copies in the US and Canada also contain a parental advisory sticker I don't I don't know why nothing parental advisory about this album it beats the hell out of me why they why they uh why they uh, had that had it like that but damn but th this right here is a very good album um uh, uh, I really like this album. This, this is a bomb ass album with uh, them because th they put out this compilation. Uh, this is a set between uh, Nevermind and In Utero. And it, this goes to show you how, how good they were when they put out some, uh, certain uh, songs. 